Welcome to the Task Notes Information section. In this section, you will record notes or assign tasks to a specific user that are normally not related to an office event. If you need to assign a task or make a note related to an office event, you should do that right up here in the office event section. Pending client, I'd put my note related to pending client up here. Uh, best practices is you wouldn't put it down here. So task notes are normally going to be recorded if it's unrelated to an office event. For example, if I come in here to my task type, select my drop down. I have complaints, general, phone message, tax planning questions. So these are typically not related to an office event. So that's where I would go ahead and record a note or a task down here. These can be customized, uh, linked to the business type, and you do that under admin in your task types. So in this example, a common one is, say for example, tax plan and question, client calls over the summer, they just bought a house, you want it, they're, they're seeking some tax advice and you give them tax advice and you wanna make a note to the file, uh, we, you would do so under the, the task or note tax planning question and then you put your note right here and so then when they come in the following year, you could see exactly the information, the advice you gave them. I'm gonna go ahead and log a phone message, that's very common. Client calls in, would like you to return a call. I select phone message. This would be typically the receptionist taking this call. Come over to the note box to type the note in. And as you notice down here, the predefined note, there's a drop down. These are all set up, customized, related to this task type phone message. And I created these in admin task type. That's where you can create the predefined notes related to a task. So in this case, client would like a call back. I select call client back. It's automatically going to stamp date it and then please return client's call as soon as possible. So this is something that you don't have to type in. These are common messages to save some time. Then I'm gonna assign it to assign. All you do is come down here and select the user. If you wanna select more than one user, you just hold the control key down and then select another user. So unselect, again, hold the control key and then left click. The assign date and the due date will default to today's date unless you put a different date in there. The assign date is the date it will show up on this user's My Assign task in the user overview. So if you wanted to say show up five days from now, then you just select the calendar and then pick the appropriate date. The due date, if you're, use, if you're putting a due date that when this task needs to be completed, you would do so in this field here. And then it'll track the number of days after the due date if you assign a due date. Otherwise, it's just going to default to today's date. I'm going to go ahead and save this message or this task. And now it's going to give me a creation date, a created by, and in this case, modified was the same person who created, created it. If you see over here, the done column, the done field, it's highlighting yellow to draw attention to this task because it has not been completed. Once it's been completed, in this example, say Mark comes back into the client file, returns the client's phone call. What they would do is they select the edit pencil. And in this case, I'm in the file Jeff case. I returned the call and I left a voice message. So we're playing phone tag, but I'm properly documenting the file. Then I would just select done. I'd hit save. So now if Jeff were to call back, the receptionist goes into the file, you could see that the, the message was left, assigned to Mark. And then Mark did return the call and we have the date and time Mark returned the call and then we can just do the whole process over again. And that's all I have related to, oh, one more thing I wanna point out is you can organize the task types. So if you have multiple task types in this area, check this box. The only ones that would display would be your open tasks and then they would the other ones would be organized down below here. And up above here, you can print the task history, history out as a PDF if you needed this information, and you could also export it to Excel. Now that's all I have for task notes information. Thank you.